कितने साल हो गए आपको बावन साल 52 टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस जितने यहाँ जितने भी यहाँ पे उस वक्त माने में होटल था वहाँ सिर्फ एक ही वेज होता था और वो होता था पनीर पनीर हाँ। वेज के लिए हाँ। हमने आके बहुत सारी वैरायटी बताई बहुत सारी वैरायटी दिखाई लोगों को तो लोग ऐसे बोलते हैं मीनू ऐसा भी होता है वो भी वेज इतना हाँ। बड़ा हाँ। तो जो वेज लोग थे बड़ा खुश हुए वो वो देख हाँ। के मीनू लाइक आई एम सो हैपी एंड कंटेन विद सो मेनी वेजिटेरियन डिशेज इट्स नॉट इवन फनी सो यू गेट सो मेनी एंड एवरी यू नेम इट यू हैव इट यू The bird is quite soft, and to me, this roti is quite spongy in its texture. So it's a great mop to soak up the flavor of the nihari. Hmm. Look at how cleanly that meat has come off the bone. Excellent. It's yeah. nice and hot. So Once you have it? one bite, you you will, you will finish it. <laughs> Best tandoori chicken in the in country. the country. So let's taste the best best tandoori chicken. Best tandoori chicken. Well, our last meal here at uh, the Leela on this trip, and we've saved. I think we've saved the best for the last. At least that's what I'd like to think. We're going to be lunching at Falak, yeah, which is their uh, Indian restaurant. And after we lunch, we'll check out. So you're looking forward to this lunch? Very much. Yeah. Very much. So it's the same chef as uh, Jamawa, right? That's uh, right. The chef behind the food at uh, Falak, the Indian restaurant here on the rooftop, is the same chef who was behind the success of Jamawa, the restaurant at the Leela Palace, Bengaluru. So we were there for the sundown last evening, and we tasted some of the short eats, and that was very good. So really looking forward to this lunch. Let's go. Yeah. नमस्कार शेफ कैसे हो सब बढ़िया और कैसे रहे आप बस बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप आए थैंक यू वेरी मच हमें भी बहुत अच्छा लगा यहाँ पे आकर आपको देखकर शुक्रिया सो दैट इज शेफ फरमान अली कितने साल हो गए आपको रनिंग बावन साल 52 टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस In the many accolades that he has, in the 52 years that he's been a chef, most people in Bengaluru know is his success with the Jamawar at the Leela Bengaluru. And here, 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 हम लोगों ने यहाँ पर जमावर स्टार्ट किया था तो कहीं पर भी इतना बड़ा मीनू नहीं होता था और ख़ास तौर से वेज मीनू जितने यहाँ जितने भी यहाँ पे उस वक्त माने में होटल था वहाँ सिर्फ एक ही वेज होता था और वो होता था पनीर पनीर हाँ। वेज के लिए हाँ। हमने आके बहुत सारी वैरायटी बताई बहुत सारी वैरायटी दिखाई लोगों को तो लोग ऐसे बोलते हैं मीनू ऐसा भी होता है वो भी वेज इतना हाँ। बड़ा तो जो वेज लोग थे बड़े खुश हुए वो वो देख के मीनू बट यहाँ पर क्या है तो इसीलिए मैंने सोचा कि कल हाँ। लोग मुझे भी ऐसे बोलेंगे जमावर का शेफ है और अक्सर लोग ये सोचते हैं जमावर का शेफ है तो जमावर का मीनू उठा के लाया होगा नहीं हाँ। तो उसी वजह से ख़ास तौर से मैं कुछ ऐसा नहीं रखा जो वहाँ के जमावर में है हाँ। क्योंकि वो भी मेरा रेस्टोरेंट है ये भी मेरा रेस्टोरेंट हाँ। है वहाँ भी मेरी रेस्टोरेंट चल रही है यहाँ भी मेरी रेस्टोरेंट है मेरा मीनू यहाँ भी और वहाँ भी है तो हमने सोचा कुछ अलग किया जाए ओके तो हमने उसके अंदर कुछ ऐसी रेसिपीज ऐड की हैं जो दुनिया भूल चुकी थी अच्छा जैसे कोयला आटा चिकन है तो मेहनत बहुत पड़ती है उसमें तो मेहनत का काम आजकल के इंसान तो वैसे ही दूर भाग जाता है पहले आप उसको मैरिनेट करिए उसके बाद मैरिनेट करके आप उसको आटे के साथ फिर रैप करिए उसके बाद फिर स्लो कुकिंग के ऊपर बहुत स्लो कुकिंग के ऊपर उसको पकाया जाता है जब वो तैयार हो गया सुशेफ परमजीत सिंह परमजीत सिंह पहले हमारे शेफ जो थे अपने हैदराबाद के अंदर आटा चिकन है सीख कबाब है मुल्तानी सीख कबाब विच इज टोटली कुक्ड इन दैंगो ट्री का जो हमारे पास स्टिक्स होते हैं ना उसमें लकड़ियाँ 
रेलवे पूरी बेल्ट है ओके। और हमने जो पंजाब का जो मेनू लिया है दैट इज अनडिवाइड पंजाब वेजिटेरियन में हम आपको हरा भरा कबाब खिलाएंगे दही के कबाब खिलाएंगे खंदारी पनीर टिक्का है वो खिलाएंगे एंड द मेन कोर्स वी हैव पालक चिल गोजा हमारे पास गुच्ची की सब्जी है हमारे पास तो पहले मैं आपको कबाब भेजता हूँ उसके बाद फिर करेंगे ठीक है फाइन What is this? It's green peach choka tart. Green yes. peach choka tart. Yes, sir. Where is some sort of a chutney? This is. Hmm. There's some dry ginger in that, no? Guava. Oh, a guava chutney. Yeah. So you know, every day is a fresh amuse which comes to the table. So today you have some fresh peas in that. Yes. Some bundi hai usme. Micro greens. On a khasta tart, the amuse bush with the green peas and the bundi. Hmm. When the peas are fresh, there's a certain sweetness to it, no? We've shown the map where exactly our food coming from. So if you'll see in our map, our food is from you know Lahore, you know Panipat, Delhi, and then going up to Lucknow. That's how you curated. We've curated a glossary as well. About the entire menu, what mm. are the things like bakar khani, champe, chilgoza? Mm. So if somebody who doesn't know these words, they can actually go back and read what does a chilgoza means. Not everybody would know a chilgoza means a pine nut. Correct. I also want to talk to you about dastane goi. Huh? Dastane goi is a special menu. Chef Farman will come, Chef Prabhjit will come, Manan huh. will come and explain the entire menu, every dish by huh. dish. Um, it is only in the speed yard for fifty-one thousand rupees. For how many people? Ten people maximum. Ah, okay. So this is a dastane goi menu. Yes. yes. So it's a tasting menu. Fifteen yes. dishes. And all signature dishes which are done by our chefs here. And so the chef comes, talks to you, About comes along day. with each course. Yes. If you want to do something interesting, definitely check out dastane goi. Dastane goi menu. So ten people, a celebration. So 51k is roughly about 5000 rupees per person. per person. I think beyond the number of dishes, beyond the food it's that you experience. taste, yeah, I think is the experience. Yo, the hake kebab is a lot uh, more vibrant as opposed to the typical safed that you see. It is different or uh, dry fruits is mein bahut zyada hai. Acha. But you will not feel like is mein zyada dry fruit humne daale hue hain, but pisa hua hai. Pisa hua hai. Stained with what? With some turmeric, saffron. What is? It is uh, with some saffron. Fantastic. What is this powder on top? This is the kebab masala. The kebab masala. So this is what you make in house. We make in house. Fantastic. Tandoori chicken is we used to call it roasted chicken. Right. The crispiness, the charredness on the outside gives you a crunchy taste and softness of the chicken inside. That makes a tandoori chicken, you know, much more uh, flavorful. That that is what. It's the best tandoori chicken in the in country. the country. So that's what the chefs are saying now. But I not just the chefs, <laughs> the guests as well. उसके बारे में आपका क्या राय है, chef? बिल्कुल है सर. अब आप फिर भी बताइए कि है कि नहीं है best. The best tandoori chicken in the world. Can I taste some cardamom in that somewhere? सारे मसालों का जो सबसे ज़्यादा flavour होता है, कहीं भी आप जाएँगे तो वो cardamom और बिल्कुल cardamom. Hmm. दही कबाब में कार्डम जब तक नहीं जाएगा वो दही कबाब का वो फ्लेवर नहीं आएगा नहीं आएगा, आएगा। बट थोड़ा सा हमने इसमें चेंज किया है बिकॉज दैट इज इन वाइट इन कलर दैट इज ऑथेंटिक इसमें थोड़ा सा हमने और थोड़ा चटपटा करने के लिए थोड़ा सा स्पाइस इंक्रीज किया Approved by boss. So <laughs> the review is done. <laughs> And what is also nice is there's a bit of that uh, slight small slivers of the green chilli, so yeah. you get a bit of the heat yeah. as well. So it's not completely rich. And what is also nice is that there is a certain texture to this as I'm eating it, right? Sometimes if it's too pasty, pasty. so you got a soft, creamy sort of a core, and then you've got a light crust, a charred crust that's formed on top of the dahi ke kebab. Just cook, pakate ho jab. When you fry it, you fry it on oil, ghee. Oh, it's shallow fried. Shallow fried. Yeah, shallow fried. Desi ghee. Desi ghee mein. Only. Only desi ghee. Desi ghee bhi humne jo hai, wo pani se magaya hua hai. Shud desi ghee. Hmm. This restaurant also. हमारे यहाँ का आटा जो है, वो भी पंजाब से आया है सीधा. हाँ. Rice हमारा जो है, वो ज़्यादा करके जो ये belt है हरियाणा के अंदर जो पंजाब को निकल जा रही है, वो वहाँ का है, या फिर देहरा� अच्छा हमने हर वो चीज़ वहाँ से उठाई है जहाँ से बेहतर से बेहतर मिल सकती है हमको और इस काम में हमारे शेफ ने हमारी बड़ी मदद की है हाँ बड़े घूमे हैं इस चक्कर के अंदर अच्छा हाँ 
बस पानी वहाँ का नहीं है पानी पानी का का नहीं है है हमारे बस में तो हम वो भी आप बोले कि साहब ये भी तो जमावर से ये जमावर अभी जो जमावर बनाते हैं हम लोग उसके अंदर चौक स्पिनिच होता है स्पलेंडर क्लियर होता है और उसके अंदर अपना कॉर्न होता है बहुत अच्छे टाइप का वो टोटल टोटल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट है है। है ये। स्लो रोस्टेड चटनी ऑन टॉप। सो सो दैट्स फ्रॉम सिटी। यू डन ऑफ द टेस्टिंग। यस, वी डिड। इनफैक्ट द टेस्टिंग व्हेन वी सम ऑफ़ द डिशेस लाइक तंदूरी चिकन दो वेरी सिंपल बट द वर्ल्ड so when you start with that intent you obviously have to start looking at, uh, at the ingredients the papads are coming from amritsar oh, sir the atta is coming from amritsar our paneer is coming from garhwal our ghee the main important thing for our sure. dishes here is coming from amritsar so every ingredient has been thought thought so there's a lot of importance given to yes, providence see what happens is we make lovely food and then you know when you are eating with the roti oh. if you don't have the taste of a roti you will you will you will say yaar udhar खाने में मजा वहाँ नॉर्थ में ज्यादा आता है वाई डोंट वी गेट द सेम आटा हेयर दैट वॉज द थॉट प्रोसेस सो वी गॉट द आटा फ्रॉम अमृतसर फ्रेशली यू नो ग्राइंडेड देयर एंड गॉट इट हेयर सो लेट्स टेस्ट दी बेस्ट बेस्ट तंदूरी चिकन बेस्ट तंदूरी चिकन आई लाइक इज अस ऑफ द बर्ड हाउ The bird is moist. It's also got a lovely char on the outside. Oh, the bird is juicy. What we do is we take the chicken, we marinate. The first marinade is about six to eight hours. Ah. Then we put our second marinade. Then again we keep almost six to eight hours. And mm. then after that, uh, during the preparation also, we half roast the chicken, hang it for some time, and after that again it is cooked again. So that is how it becomes more juicy and you know gives more flavor right deep inside. It's got a beautiful char that you can see, and it's also visible in the color in the charred edges. But typically, sometimes when you when you get a nice char, usually the bird tends to dry out on the inside. But this bird is charred nicely on the outside and rather juicy within. And also the spices, you can definitely feel the warmth of the spices linger on your palate. And of course, there's the pungency of the mustard oil. The pure marination. We use mustard oil. The base is has to be the mustard oil because that gives it that pungency, right? So you know, mm. uh, ghee was never used for marinations. Ghee mm. was always used in our curries, a little top up, and you know, uh, for our sweets and all that. But for tandoori dishes, it was always the mustard oil. Always the mustard oil. It's always the mustard oil, which is used to give that pungency, to give that flavor to the dish. I think the mustard oil also helps balance the other. Yes. So, for example, you got the you got of course the red chili spice in this, right. but it's it's there, but it lingers on in its yeah. warmth, and I think that also the mustard oil helps there. You will not feel the heat in your you know uh, in mm. your throat. Mm. You will feel the spices in your mouth, which will give you the taste, mm. but not that heat. You can certainly feel the spices linger yes. on your tongue. Take one bite with that masala and inside. The entire experience of the tandoori chicken will change. With the lachanians. Hmm. You know, this is the sort of bird that you can have a conversation with. Hmm. आगे बस एक तंदूरी चिकन लो साथ में लच्छा प्याज वगैरह आता ही है. Have some roti shoti on the side. हाँ और क्या चाहिए? एक दाल, एक छोटी सी कटोरी of dal. Hmm. I perhaps haven't tasted enough tandoori chicken to say whether it's the best chicken in the world or not. But if there was a contender, I certainly think this would be right up there. The bird's rather well cooked all the way in. Mmm, the crunch that I'm crunching into now. Mmm, you know the maza when you're eating a bird, a grilled bird or something that's come out of a tandoor, is once you've gotten to all the very obvious meaty bits, you've run out of meat. Now you start. For aging, ah, yeah. uh, you start yes. reaching into those crevices. And you look for the cartilages which can be eaten. Yeah, try to that get bite. you know that crunch from there as well. 
try to get every bit of meat from the crevices along with that masala because it was also the masala because as they marinate the bird you have that masala that creeps into those crevices remains hidden until you seek it out mm the lacha pyaaz also helps i think moisten your palate in case the spice is a little too much thoroughly enjoying this amritsari tandoori roasted chicken multani seek oh you got something else as well bahut jaldi jaldi aa rahe hai sab mm of course while i was taking some of my b rolls that kebab has cooled down a bit Hmm. I think with these kebabs, you got to really savor them hot. Soon as they come off the grill, I'm trying to visualize this kebab in terms of what it would have been had it been hot. So I think what happens with a kebab soon after it's come off the grill, I think the fat in that kebab is still molten, and that's what gives it that juiciness. Once the kebab sits for a bit, then you can taste the meat all right, and I can definitely taste the coarse texture of the meat here. but some of the fats begin to coagulate and then you don't taste that punch having said that this is a kebab that is somewhat in between the texture of a typical seek kebab and a kakori kebab there is not as much fat that goes into it as a kakori and it's not as hard as you would expect a skewer of a traditional seek kebab to be mm You know what's nice is that the spices are rather warming. I'm going to turn our attention to the galauti kebab. I love the crust of that kebab. Galauti means gal jaane wala. Uh, that's what I'm expecting to taste. Hmm. There's a soft crunch of that crust, and beyond that, all that you need to do is just place the kebab on your tongue and allow that kebab to become one with your palate. You don't even need to. Chew on it. You don't need to bite on it. That kebab beautifully disintegrates on your palate. You know, sometimes when you're tasting a galauti kebab, you're also tasting a lot of the the screw pine essence, the kevda, etc. But out here, the flavors are rather gentle, rather delicate. No aroma of the kevda water, only saffron, and the spices which we are grounded. Ah, in. the meat is slightly on the whitish side. Why is that? Because we have not added some chilies, red chilies, and all. Ah, okay. And the where you will get over there, you will get a bit red chilli, which will spoil your neck. So, its kind of heat, ah, wo that is different, and the green chilli is different. Ha. Ah. So, which is good for our health, we are using that thing. So. You can taste more the flavor of the meat. Ha. Ah. That only is a fact. Ki jis chiz se wo bani hui hai na, jaise agar mutton se bani hai, to mutton ka flavor aana chahiye. Not mm. that the spices and the additional which we have put the things. Uske jaise flavor nahi aana chahiye. करेक्ट जैसे अगर तंदूरी चिकन है तो उसमें हीट इतनी नहीं होनी चाहिए स्पाइसेस इतनी नहीं होनी चाहिए कि तंदूरी चिकन का टेस्ट ही स्वाद ही खत्म स्वाद चले जाए सो यू बेसिकली हैव टू टेस्ट द इंग्रेडिएंट या बिटर हो जाएगा सो देयर इज अ स्लाइट स्मोकीनेस दैट यू सर्टेनली डिटेक्ट सो बेसिकली दे स्मोक द मीट वंस दे मेक द मिंस एंड द मिंस इज रेडी देन दे ऐड सम घी टू सम हॉट कोयला एंड देन दे कीप दे प्लेस दैट वेसल अलोंग विद द मिंस दे कवर इट ढक लेते हैं सो दैट स्मोक इन्फ्यूजेस इनटू द Whole into the whole mixture. Very nice. Wrapped up that galauti in that bread. Nice. Mm. Your face only is saying that it is very delicious. You know what's nice in a kebab? You want to taste the flavor of the meat. Right. And this kebab allows you to do that. Hmm. This paneer is really like so. It's nice and soft. Just try one bite. This is a kandari paneer tikka. It's so hot that I can ba barely hold it with my fingers. Oh, I wonder what this is. Hmm. You know uh, what's nice is that all the dishes that we've tasted so far, you can taste the flavor of the main ingredient. Main ingredient. Paneer right? paneer. So in the paneer, you're tasting the paneer. Of course, you got the masala, you got the spices. There's probably some warmth of some chilies in there. You got a, a beetroot puree, you got some pomegranate, etc. But what's nice is you're tasting the paneer, and the paneer is soft. Hmm? Where does the paneer come from? Uttarakhand side. From Uttarakhand side. Yes. Ah, okay. So that's why the quality of the paneer. So you got a bit of a charred edge to the paneer, and on the inside, it's quite soft. 
quite mulayam. Ah, and that paneer is also stuffed. Actually, I didn't get to that yet. The paneer is also stuffed. Hmm. There's some mawa in that. Some khoa, some nuts. निहारी Also the dal falak. Dal falak is different from dal makhani. ये हमने recipe जो है इसमें हमने ज़्यादा butter use नहीं किया, ज़्यादा cream use नहीं की हमने इसमें. तो very light. तो क्या-क्या? तो एक garlic की चटनी है, गुड़ और ginger की चटनी. हाँ. ये हमारे पास सिलवट्टे की पीसी हुई मिर्च चटनी है. सिलवट्टे पे हाँ. The moment I place it in my mouth, I can definitely feel the punch of that ginger. और थोड़ा सा वो तीखापन। So I think this is a dal makhani that won't resonate with the creaminess of the makhan. Normally क्या होता है कि आप dal makhani मुंह में डालते हो तो आराम से वो गल जाता है अंदर जाता है। बाकी खाने का भी जो flavour है ना वो भी फिर मुंह में नहीं आता। हम्म। बाकी के सारे flavours वगैरह भूल जाते हैं फिर dal makhani खाके heavy होके चले जाते हैं। you know, in this dal makhani, I'm certainly tasting the flavours of some of the ingredients like the ginger. I think there's some ginger juliennes in there. I can taste the thikapan that comes from the green chilli in that. Mmm. And this is also a dal that is quite textured. This is a dal that's quite light. Not the one that will leave you feeling guilty. Absolutely. It's very nice. This uh, champ I have not tasted before. Mmm. Well, for the vegetarian, this is the version of the boneless chicken. You know, this reminds me of the vegetarian version of a rada gosh. और ये जो है टमाटर है प्याज है दस हम कोरिएंडर इन दे दस आल्सो बिट ऑफ स्वीटनेस इन दिस हाँ थोड़ी सी मिठास है इसमें गुड़ डालते हो टमाटर की मिठास है इतनी मीठी होती है टमाटर यहाँ की हाँ बेंगलोरी टमाटर है हम्म सो दस हम स्वीटनेस दैट आई एम आल्सो टेस्टिंग दैट शेफ्स आर टेलिंग मी � Oh, that's quite delicious actually. Khote Bazaar ka soya chop. It's interesting and the best part is the taste. You know, like it's overall, just with the plain, this thing, it's so comforting. Ye Khote Bazaar ki chop. It's very good, yeah. Khote matlab kya hota? Punjabi word hai na, Khote. Haan. 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 तो ये इस बाजार में गधों पे ले आते थे सामान तो इसलिए खोते बाजार का सोया चाम। हम्म, very nice. Next I'm going to taste that लसुनी पालक. So that you have the the pungency of the garlic in there, and then you have some of the sweetness that comes from the chilgoza, from the pine nuts. So the kind of food that you have here is not the food that will leave you guilty. I mean, it won't be too heavy. I think the combination of the pine nuts and this, the chilgoza works really well. The barwang gochi. So this has some khoa in that. Khoa, paneer. Ah, okay. Hmm. जो खाना खाने का जो मजा है ना वो हाथों से है. हाथों से है, correct. यूँ तो चुरी काटा उसमें मजा नहीं है. आप खाना जब डालते हो मुंह में ठीक है तब कुछ आ जाता है लेकिन यहाँ पे जब छूते हो हाँ तभी आपको के पता लगता है क्या है क्या नहीं है एक्सपेक्टेशन पैदा होता है एंड स्टिल देर आर थिंग्स आर लेफ्ट टू सरप्राइज योर पैलेट सो यहाँ पे मैंने व्हेन आई ट्राइड रेसलिंग विद दैट गुच्ची आई कुड सी सम ऑफ दैट खोवा सम ऑफ दैट क्रीम चीज एस्केप इट बट वेन आई प्लेस इट इन माई माउथ that's when that kishmish, that's when that raisin surprised me with its sweetness. Of course, I've got my nalli nihari right here, which I will get to. And there is some machi here as well, sarsovali machi. 
But all the three vegetarian dishes that I've tasted thus far, whether it's the Kothe Bazaar ki soya cham or that lassuni palak with the chilgoza, and now of course the bharwang guchi, I think all three dishes have been very interesting. Hmm. So you have great job on the vegetarian dishes, I must say. I must compliment you. Whether it was the dahi ke kebab that we tasted, whether it was the phara phara kebab, the kandari paneer, Kothe Bazaar ke chops. ये लसुनी पालक चिलगोसे के साथ एंड ऑफ कोर्स दैट भरवा गुची ऑल हैव बीन आउटस्टैंडिंग आई थिंक टाइम टू गेट टू द मच्छी सोल है ये रिवर सोल है अमृतसर की मच्छी मतलब ज्यादा से ज्यादा डिफॉल्ट सिंगाड़ा होता है और सिंगाड़ा यहाँ पे इतने अवेलेबल नहीं होता आसानी से मैरिनेट करके Oh, I forgot. We also have the the atta chicken. This is from Kotkapura. It is in Amritsar. Okay. So there is so story behind that there were two extra forgies in the army. So their sons, they had a small bit of a hole. So their gravy was not so big. Then he came back after retirement. Then he told them, "Why don't you do something interesting with this recipe?" So they came back after retirement. Then he told them, "Why don't you do something interesting with this recipe?" So they came back after retirement. Then he told them, "Why don't you do something interesting with this recipe?" So they came back after retirement. Then he told them, "Why don't you do something interesting with this recipe?" So they came back after retirement. आलमंड के साथ कुछ स्पाइसेस के साथ उसको स्टफ करके उसकी ये प्रेजेंटेशन बनाई एंड ही कुक इन द तंदूर विच वेन पेर पॉपुलर इन द वर्ल्ड तो वहाँ पे जो है ये होल चिकन बनता है होल चिकन बनता है दैट चिकन इज ऑलवेज फॉलिंग ऑफ द बोर्ड सो दे सेड ये जो आटा चिकन हमने देखा जैसे वेजिटेरियन ने पूछा तो उनको पनीर मिलेगा पनीर आटा पनीर तो उनका ये इनोवेशन है नॉर्मली इन वेदर इट इज जमावर आर इवन टुडे फलक लाइक आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड कंटेंट विद सो मेनी वेजिटेरियन डिशेस इट्स नॉट इवन फनी सो यू गेट सो मेनी एंड एवरीथिंग यू नेम इट यू हैव इट यू आई थिंक जस्ट द काइंड ऑफ अटेंशन दैट्स बीन पेड टू वेजिटेरियन इन द फूड दैट वी फाइंड यू आई थिंक दैट्स क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग आई थिंक ऑन दैट नोट आई गो फॉर दटा चिकन You don't have to do any mehnat, any kasrat here. The meat is already fallen off the board because this is a chicken that I'm told slow cooks in the tandoor. The chicken is wrapped in some banana leaves there. I'm told in Punjab they use muslin cloth, but because muslin cloth can be a challenge to keep hygienic, they use some banana leaves here, of course. And also we are in the south, and then this wrapped in a kilo of atta and slow baked in a tandoor for about two hours with all those spices. Mm. The bird is quite soft. So if you want to bite into your cooker, this atta chicken is not for you because this is a chicken that's quite soft. I think there's probably some mustard too in that masala somewhere. The atta chicken is moist and quite literally has fallen off the bone and also cooked to an extent where it doesn't have any of the sort of bite that you would typically associate with, let's say, a tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken, khaliya. We ate the atta chicken. Now it's time to spend some time with these. लैम विद द नली तो इसमें क्या है कि इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ स्टॉक इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ योगर्ट और इसके जो मसाले हैं वो हमारे होम ग्राउंड मसाले हैं उसमें शेफ के अपने सुपर उस्ताद एंड शेफ फरमान अली एंड देन ऑफकोर्स यू ऑल्सो हैव शेफ सिंह हुज ऑन इज वे टू बिकमिंग सुपर उस्ताद इन यू कोर्स विद इज गाइडेंस तो नेक्स्ट इज टाइम टू टेस्ट द कोरमा and with the korma you have the khameri roti so it is fermented with the yeast and therefore the khameri roti and to me this roti is quite spongy in its texture so it's a great mop to soak up the flavor of the nihari mm and in my opinion a good nihari is a sort that should make your lips go smack fingers should be sticky with all the gelatin gelatin and all <laughs> with all the goodness that has Steeped out of the bones. Huh? जब खा के उसको पूरा एकदम जब तक स्वाद नहीं लेते ना तब तक मजा नहीं आता खाने का. Oh, I can already feel my fingers <laughs> sticking with that, with the goodness of that gelatin. 
मॉर्निंग तो उसका जो कलर है अर्ली मॉर्निंग हल्का सा सूरज बादल उसका जो कलर है वो हमारे निहारी के साथ मैच होना चाहिए इसको टू हैव सो मच गुडनेस दैट इट्स गॉट टू लिटरली give you all the energy boost that you need right in the earlier days you would eat this and go to work in the fields that's why it is uh, eaten in the morning that's why it's eaten in the morning we are of course eating it for lunch but <laughs> we don't have to go to any fields to work but nonetheless mm you got out cleanly that meat has come off the bone and you got all the goodness of that nihari that's dripping back into that bowl there what i like is that the meat is soft Still has a bit of a bite, because as you bite into the meat, that meat also releases some of its some of the flavors of that nihari of that gravy that it's been stewed in for a period of time. How long does it take to cook, chef? It takes around uh, one and a half hour. Hmm. Let's see. We are lucky enough to get some. I think most of the marrow steeps into the gravy as it's being cooked. The spices are quite gentle, quite mellow, quite warming. Hmm. I'm sure there'll be dessert at the end of it, but do you ask me? This is my dessert. Hmm. Meal is complete now. I think now the meal is complete. <laughs> Bit of a mess. What a happy mess! Oh, gulab jamun and jeer. And jeer ki barfi hai. Ye mawe ka wo hai. Gulab jamun jo sandwich hoti hai jaise. Ha. Waise hai. Ye peda hai. Uske baad piste ka laddu. Ha. Uske baad mawe ka aur khajur ka. Ye kya hai sir? Ye balai ka tukda hai. Ha. Aaj gulab jamun. Nice and hot. Maybe if you want to taste something from here, you can. I don't want to waste. Maybe you can taste the malaika tukda will be nice. So you're not really taking the whole thing and wasting it, but you can taste the malaika tukda. Hmm. Wow. First you taste this and then you have the jamun. Oh, it's also a chilled. Mm. So you set it. I love it with the gold leaf on top. You've got the Almond flakes that almost looks like a flower petal, and you've got some strands of saffron there. So you know, देखते ही that this is a dessert that's going to be extremely rich. Hmm, I think the flavor of the saffron, देखने में rich है लेकिन खाने में उतना it's not so rich. And I think what's nice here is that the puff pastry that you have in between. So you know, double का meat हाँ. That balai, as chef says, would have seeped into that double roti completely. But here, pe because it's a slightly thicker puff pastry, so that cream is all around it. And the sorry, Shri, I forgot to give it to you. Oh no, 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 thank you. Jaade jaade car me bolegi, apne khali hai sara. Nahi nahi, something like that. मजा आ गया शो इसीलिए बताया ना मिठास की वजह से आजकल लोग बहुत बचते हैं hmm. इसलिए वो इस इंजन को छोड़कर सीधे वेस्टर्न की तरफ जाते हैं अगर डेजर्ट की बारी आती है तो hmm. तो सब बहुत कम स्वीट होता है इज नॉट सो स्वीट टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई एम ग्लैड दैट यू आस्क मी टू ईट दिस बिफोर बिकॉज यू कैन इजली टू ऑफ दिस एंड नॉट फील दैट हैवीनेस Excellent. It's yeah. nice and hot. Once you have one bite, you will you will finish it. Mawa se bhi hota na isme. Thoda sa. Sir binding ke liye. Binding ke liye. Lekin aur mawa. Aur andar pista. You know, it's been wonderful sitting here with Chef Farman after years and just understanding some of the nuances that make these dishes so special. So if you want to savor some truly special. food from the northern part of the country the undivided india and more so in a kitchen that's helmed by a chef who's in the business for 52 years now chef farman ali definitely find your way to falak 
एट द लीला भारतीय सिटी इफ यूर इन टाउन इट्स ट्रेक मे बी अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टू एन आर डिपेंडिंग ऑन वे यू लिव बट द काइंड ऑफ डिशेज दैट आई एक्सपीरियंस टीयर आर सर्टनली द सॉट दैट विल लीव यू वॉन्टिंग मोर I hope you've enjoyed this very special lunch here at Falak. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe. We'll have plenty such tastings coming up. Until the next time, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.